Welcome back to Indie Wave Maker, and today we're going to be showcasing Meet Me on the Mountains. And to showcase this, not not I can't showcase this alone. So we got the development team of the Meet Me on the Mountain over here. Hi. Hello, hello, hello from Hi. Psychic City Games. Can you introduce your yeah. Guys so themselves? I'm Andre. Uh, I'm like the game designer of the game, and. Um, and I'm Alexei. I'm art director, so Ooh. everything visual in Meet Me on the Mountain. Ah. Yeah. So if it looks beautiful, it's you. <laughs> <laughs> it's, yeah, yeah, it's you. <laughs> yes. Thank All right. You. So Meet Me on the Mountain. Um, so what kind of game is it? It's like, from the name, I'm like, okay, so probably someone's gonna meet somebody on the mountain, but I can't like figure out more than that. So ah, yeah. yeah. So. I guess we can start off by saying it's an interactive fiction, right? Ooh, so okay. very heavy on the story, mm -hmm. and you play through the experiences of Julia, the main character, mm -hmm. and progress through her story mm -hmm. through small puzzles and mini games. Mm -hmm. And um, in this game, you try to like uncover her past and a person that she has forgotten and she's trying oh. to piece together this memory oh so yeah. right. okay so your main character so you're kind of following her story like you're following together like you're trying to figure out while she's trying to figure out yeah, what's yeah going, exactly. what just happened exactly. all right so you see interactive fiction with puzzles and stuff like yeah that. i'm really curious about how what kind of gameplay it will have uh -huh. and i I'm sure you're here to kind of teach me how, show me how <laughs> this game goes. All right. Um, well, we can do just that. All right. All right. Okay. Let's go check out the game. I'm like super curious because I already see the starting screen. Not you guys yet, but probably <laughs> you'll be able to. But I, the art direction already. I'm like, I love like the uh, the paint style. Yeah. You know the. Uh, I won't say like, I'm like. Blanking in English, but in Japanese it's called abraya, right? It's like regular <laughs> right. painting. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I love For it, sure. so I'm wondering how that would be getting incorporated in the gameplay. So. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. So <laughs> we'll just start. Uh huh. Okay. So already I see Polaroid. Mm -hmm. So I guess that's gonna be like one of the key elements to this game. Yeah. Like following sure. through the Polaroid. Right. Because Julia actually is like a photographer here. Mm -hmm. And uh, Polaroids are kind of her way of uh, retaining memories of like important events. Got it, got it, got right. it. All right, so we already see, start up with her pictures. I guess she already, so she just, it's not like she doesn't know anything, mm. like forgot, but just this one person. That she's yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Oh. And see, I thought you said like living in the mountains, so I thought it was going to be like in nature, but then we already see a city. Yeah. <laughs> so I was like, oh, okay. 
for sure. Uh, we actually want to explain a bit about uh -huh. Meet Me on the Mountain, but yes. uh, it might be a bit of a spoiler uh, why it's named that way. <laughs> I understand that. It was like, I, we, let's talk about the game, but I, because it's story driven, right, 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 I was like, yeah. we can't tell you too much about it. I like it's an old phone, like an old flip oh, phone. Oh, yeah. Uh, we kind of like set it a bit. Uh, earlier in like the 2000s, around ah. like 2003, 2005, and stuff like that. I remember those flip phones. When right. I like did move to the states from Japan, I had this flip phone, which was oh yeah, pretty cool. <laughs> it was <laughs> for sure, for sure. All right. <clears throat> so she got a phone call. She got a letter. Right. All right. It's nice because like I like the ambient sound of mm -hmm. like just yeah. the wind in a way. It was just, like, Oh, or yeah, I don't know if this time. is from the game or... <laughs> 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 yeah, what we actually kind of like focus on in the game are is like the strong art and like strong music. Mm. Like most of our team are either artists or like sound designers. Oh, nice. Yeah. Like, uh, if I can ask, like how many people do you have in your team right now? Like we around already like have like game designers. Uh, I'd say around 10 or people, 10 right? 10 people, all right. Because like it's... Like as an indie studio, sometimes it's kind of really hard to like. Oh yeah. Because for like sure, for with sure. a small team, like you want them to work on the specific things that they are hired to do. So. Oh but yeah. Then everybody gotta keep on wearing different hats. You know? Oh yeah, <laughs> for sure. Like, <laughs> they're like, we're a game debugger while I do art direction or something right, like that. Right, right. Uh, which is why kind of like we do handpick our team, you know, mm. to like fill all those spots. Sounds yeah. Good. All right. Oh. So we're coming up on this first letter yes. from um, a mysterious person, A. Yes. Ooh. And as we can see, Julia can't remember anyone like that. So yeah. maybe it's just someone from high school. Someone it, it just, you know, can't come up with the name, but it's like, yeah. oh, okay. Right. Ooh. What? Those plants are moving. What? What's happening? <laughs> like, so what are they? What is that little glass that they have? Whoa! So, I guess that was like a. Did she just get transported into the picture? Yeah. 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 Oh. Okay. So when we are talking about diving deep into memories, where you're, like you're literally diving. Into literally into diving into okay. Into I, I I thought it was yeah. a metaphorical, but I didn't know you were gonna be literally diving into the memory as a picture. All right. That see, finally I saw nature with a mountain, just like the title. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, actually, a lot of the setting here, we wanted to do, I guess, a bit of Filipino setting here. So, this is their ancestral house right ah, now. Ah, okay, okay. And, like, this is, um, I guess, a famous mountain in the Philippines. I, I guess. guess. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can't like spoil it. It was second like second tier. Second <laughs> tier. Popular, I didn't right? know there was, like, one tier, two tier, three tier, <laughs> like A, B, C, let's rank the, each mountain. <laughs> oh, really? Okay, okay. So you're remembering this memory, but because her face is like, you can't see what's going on. Yeah. Right. Ah. Oh, and then I guess the sound of the train? Ah. Whoa! Oh my goodness, Did, there's so many letters just on the floor. Is this this is not a horror game, right? <laughs> no, it's not. It just starts out kind of like a of a mystery mm. kind of vibe, right? And gotcha, then you uncover gotcha. l a lot more. Yeah. So here are m like more letters from this mysterious person named Dave. Now she's calling him Jules. Like, wasn't it Julia before? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo. Uh, so this is like past letters rather than the letters that they. Right, made. right. Ah. Yeah, because in the start of the story, she has like a. A uh, pile of letters like piled up, you know, mm -hmm. uh, and only now she's getting to read all of these letters. Uh, in a way, if you don't know this person, like if you can't remember this person, you you have like a bunch of letters. You're like a little bit scary sometimes. Right, like, who right, is this right. person? <laughs> like, do I know her? Yeah. She's stalker. <laughs> <laughs> she seems to know me very well. Yeah, right? exactly. But then there is picture of me and. Her, so a, I guess, right. <laughs> unless it was photoshopped, but uh, you know. first. but I not in that era, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. It's like if you have a Photoshop, you're like such a computer right, nerd. Right. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. 
But that's cool. Like I, I, I love the camping um, yeah. aesthetics. So right now we're here, like looking, diving into those memories. Uh, now we see her face too. Before it was like kind of, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. mysterious. Right. We don't know who she was. But right. at this moment, also we don't know her name. Actually, mm. so we only know A. a. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. So as like more of these photos come up, like uh -huh. more of the memory becomes clearer about who she is and who she was to you, kind of. Gotcha. Thing. Gotcha. Also, like you were talking about, like the puzzle elements, mm -hmm. right? We'll be able to see that a little bit here, or maybe a little further into the game, which becomes like a spoiler territory <laughs> that we don't want to show. No, actually, like we're already coming up on like one of the first mini oh, games, so okay. perfect, perfect timing, timing, I guess. <laughs> hey, I'm a professional interviewer. You right, know? right, right. <laughs> we know exactly when to. This is ask not these scripted. Questions. <laughs> yeah, it's not scripted. What about like we didn't rehearse this at all. <laughs> so All right, so we're looking at the stars now. Right. So kind of like uh, when you were in like the campfire scene, yeah. uh, you guys were kind of like looking at the stars uh -huh, and kind uh -huh. of like drawing constellations with each other. Yeah. So this is kind of like an intimate moment for them, uh, which is kind of like uh, cementing the memories that they have. Gotcha. So gotcha. in this mini game, you kind of like just uh, change like the lenses, uh -huh. which is what we want to incorporate in the whole game like a change of perspective at ah. all times so well, you this one is changing lenses but right. then another mini game is like you got to change perspective yep, in a different yep, way yeah. ah. for sure uh i think like the second mini game revolves about like day and night cycles instead so it's right. like during the day what shows during the light time right, while right. in the darkness it shows something different oh yeah <laughs> that's that really i I'm getting really curious of all these other puzzles too. So, yeah. it, by changing the filters in this mini game, I guess you you're just drawing the stars right now and trying to figure out like you figure out what you need to draw right, right now. Right, right, right. Connecting all the dots. Connecting all the dots is uh, pretty well, good. <laughs> <laughs> I I didn't mean it that way, but I guess it is. Right. So actually, when you complete this constellation, it yes. kind of reveals why it's called Meet Me on the Mountain to oh. an extent. Oh. So right now, I'm just going to guess. A mountain. I was going to say, like, it looks kind of like a mountain. I right. was going to yeah. say. See, she took my line. <laughs> <laughs> Not scripted, by the way. Not scripted. Not scripted. Okay. <laughs> All right. So. so yeah, that's like one of the first constellations that was done. And there's like two more constellations that mm. we have to do. So in this mini game, you could see kind of like uh, when you change like the colors, you would uh -huh. see which stars are connected to each other. Yeah. Right. So I was like, "That's perfect. I love dancing." Oh, you you are dancing. See, I didn't know the dancing until that person was like, "I love dancing too." I was like, "Oh, right. You Interesting." Know, it's kind of like when you look at the stars and constellations. Yeah, like, yeah. Sure, Is sure, that a like, centaur? It's like, <laughs> that's like. How does that look like a guy trying to pull it? <laughs> right, right. <laughs> right. Okay. Like, you seem to know exactly how to draw it. Oh, oh it, it'll show like what you can connect and what right. you can't. Right. So it's like, like, when uh, it goes like, boom, it's like, oh, I can't connect that. Yep, yeah. yep, yep. Gotcha. Yep. See, that person looks like he's, she's dancing too in a way. Or lying down maybe. Yeah, actually, you're on the shy. See, shy right, side. See, yeah. in this see, uh, yeah. like yes pose, she's actually kind of like sitting down, right? Ah, yeah, yeah. I, was, yeah. I thought she was kind of doing like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like that would be funny too, away. right? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Oh, and then we get to see the big picture right there. So, someone right. sitting down, watching someone dancing on a mountain top. Meet me on the mountain. Uh -huh. So they're kind of describing themselves in a way. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so romantic. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're just... So that, that's actually like... I feel like while playing this game, you start getting more sentimental in a way. And I feel like doing that kind of puzzle kind of make you learn being romantic in a way. Like oh, you yeah, kind of imaginative. Sure. And then, you know, you go out dating. It's like... 
you guys want to see the star? Like, right. This is <laughs> us right there. <laughs> yeah, actually, like, our approach to, like, making these kinds of minigames isn't, like, the usual, like, fun or action, mm -hmm. right? And we were really kind of, like, focusing on bringing out, like, an emotion out of each one. I feel like it's a really nice game because there are various games, right? right and then right. there are ones like Action Pack, which get your adrenaline going. Right. But then sometimes you want a game that gets your serotonin level, like, you know, relax, chill, but then also kind of get something really deep in the That's inside true. <laughs> too. And I feel like we need both kind of games, too. Oh, yeah. I feel like this game actually helped, like, definitely nails that part yeah. with aesthetic-wise. When, um, we, when we kind of, like, imagine the player, it's like, for them, it's like a rainy day outside, and they're just cuddled up in their yeah. blankets and shit. <laughs> it's like, got nothing to do. You know what? Let's just right. kind of, you know, play some lo-fi music sometimes, yeah. <laughs> you know? All right. So for this game, like, it's still under development? Right. Do uh, you know, like, when you're planning to release it? So uh, what we're kind of, like, uh, playing here is one of, like, the, the first versions of the mm -hmm. game. Um and then we'll plan to release maybe like either late this year or early next year, right? Oh, all right, all right. So mm. it's actually coming up really soon. Like, yeah. When someone say like late this year, I forget that it's already like <laughs> October. Right, right. <laughs> I was like, we only have two more months left. I was like, oh wait, oh, that's soon. So that that's really, soon. that's really exciting. Like, uh, and what platform are you gonna be releasing on? Uh, mostly we're focusing on like uh, Steam and PC, right? Steam and PC? Which is kind of like. Uh, uh, where we learned game development mostly. Nice, right. nice. All right, and then for like people who wants to know more about this game, where could they like go check it out? Yeah, so this uh, game actually you can search it up on Steam. Mm -hmm. So it's called oh. like Meet Me on the Mountain, right? Yeah. And then <laughs> wish listing. Uh, yeah, wish listing wish is free. It? If you're interested in it, just press that wish list button. It helps the developer too. <laughs> they can get like you know more wish lists. The better. Yeah. We remember you. Exactly. <laughs> it's like, you know, putting the notification button. Right, right. For yeah. Steam. Yeah. But also, like, do you have, like, a social media that you guys actually... Oh, yeah. Uh, we do have, like, a couple of socials. We have, like, a Twitter. It's at PSY City Games. And uh, I guess that's our main uh, yeah, social media, right? Twitter. Twitter. Or X, formerly known as Twitter. <laughs> oh, yeah. <right. laughs> Can't get cancelled. So, do, do they... <laughs> Do you post like little updates or like little Easter eggs? Oh yeah, Easter for eggs. sure. Uh, when we were kind of like uh, developing this uh, oh. version, uh, we were putting out kind of like the behind the scenes of like the games, like the initial sketches and kind of like uh, what we've been fiddling around with, kind of like the sound or also like the mini games as well. Awesome. All right. Well, thank you very much for showcasing right. us this game. It was, you know what? There were so many excitements. I needed to relax a little bit, and I feel like this game actually helped me relax. Just the chill. <laughs> it was really game, chill. Right. It was nice. So thank you very much for showcasing. You. Meet me on the mountain, everybody. Don't forget to wish list it. Wish list. It's already on uh, Steam's like wish store page. It has a store page, which means it's already greenlit. Wish list it. It's for free if you wish list it. So you can get all these updates. So definitely check it. Anywho, we are going on a quick break, and we'll be right back to showcase more indie games. So don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. All right. See ya.